Okay, Jalen Green has been absolutely hooping. And there's reasons to why he might be hooping. What do you mean by that? I'm not going to get into that. That's not the point of the video today. <laughs> I'm not going to try and talk about all that. But nonetheless, got me thinking about, remember, I remember watching him in high school, prolific prep, you know, G League now, all that stuff. And he didn't, not to say that he was like trash, comes in the league as he was not trash, okay? Did not maybe exceed expectations, what I'm talking about. So today we're going to go over three things, okay? Who was Jalen Green as a prospect? Who was Jalen Green as a rookie? And then who is Jalen Green right now? Okay, so we out here on max preps. I just want to look at his stats. Like, who was he as a prospect? Boy, if you don't. So, Jenny Green, 6'5, 180 pounds. Like, I think of that, bro. <laughs> that's that's kind of skinny. I mean, I'm 6'5, like 225. And there, I mean, that's probably why he flies. It's probably why he got a 40 inch vertical, and I have like a 20. Five inch vertical, but it says here going into the league, you know, G League Ignite, freshman, whatever, athleticism nine, size eight. I mean, six five is good for a, a two guard. You know, that's pretty good strength. He really hasn't even filled out either. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't like the biggest guy. I mean, you look at guys like Ant coming in the league. So it looks like a linebacker. I mean, he played football, right? Other things like NBA ready, ball handling, you know, jump shot. Those are all high. I mean, out of the t I think twelve or thirteen categories, he's got ninety eight overall. Obviously. 2021 mock number two yeah that was fair Cade I think still goes number one but the biggest thing that caught my eye when Jalen Green was coming to the league was his ability to shoot and it's like it's not just catch and shoot like fling like Tyler Hero style it's like off the dribble step back threes and you don't see that a lot with guys of this caliber athleticism that's what set him apart from everybody else that's like has been athletic that was just insane in high school I mean the same time around like Zion just like you see Clips of him just going up like that. He was doing the same stuff, but he could also have an outside shot. That's what That was what was crazy to me, that he could actually hit that. And he still does it to this day. I mean, he hits threes all the time. Great shooter. Surprisingly great shooter. So it's kind of interesting. The, the whole point of this video is because it's like, had all this in the toolkit, like where did it go? You know, looking back on it, he's had this the whole time. So we're looking here, I mean, NBA comparison, Brad Beal, Zach Levine. That's not crazy to say. That's not crazy. I mean, they're both 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guards, shoot the ball, handle. Zach Levine's insanely athletic. Brad Beal is definitely on the lower end of the totem pole within those three guys. But like he says, weaknesses. Green's a good shooter, not yet a sniper from beyond the arc. True. True coming in the league. He could shoot, but it wasn't like, you know, like I said, Tyler Hero, guys like D-Book coming out just flinging from deep and just sniping, right? Still very skinny, could use some bulk to his frame in order to be an effective defender and a finisher against bigger guards and forwards. That's that's still a real statement. I mean, you can see that it's very interesting that it, it's not so much as like, oh, he's gotten better since he's gotten the league. He's just kind of stuck to what he's been known for. And that and now times like this allow him to just kind of shoot off and now he's, he's doing a lot. And I know he's not going to do as much as Ant, you know, or a guy like D-Book or, you know, guys like that I've been talking about like that. But he, he's still there. He's still a great piece in a young team, and we'll talk about we'll talk about that later. But like, let's just look at let's look at his, some of his highlights. Like, <laughs> this dude, oh my gosh, six four. I mean, look at dude, his head's at the rim. Like this dude coming out of high school, anybody can anybody that can do this in midair. Pause, pause. Anybody that can do this in midair is insanely athletic. That's crazy. But like you see right here, watch this. Boom from three, bang. Boom, move. Like, he's a good for the mid-range, too. In and out, up, over, bang. Step back, three, splash. Athletic, just. Like, this dude, I knew he probably was going to go number one. I remember reviewing this dude. I think I did a video about him years ago at this same time when this was going on. Um, I also did one on, like, Evan Mobley and, like, and Bronny. But, I mean, this dude had everything, bro. Like, yam it. He just, but it, it, but what like we said about him was right. It's like he's skinny, his finishing is really really good. But he could get better at if he was bulkier. He could, dude, how many people, how many more people could he dunk on? How many more people could he finish a layup on? You know, his shooting is way better off the dribble than it is off the catch. I, I don't even really feel like I've seen him do well off the catch. You know, in the NBA at least, maybe in in high school or in the G League, but not in the NBA. It's not, he's not. He's not. He's 100% on a catch-and-shoot guy. That's who he was as a prospect. Who, who was he as a rookie? Okay, we can see right here, 2021-22 season. 
I mean, nothing crazy. Fourth and rookie of the year, 17 points per game. He made two threes a game on seven attempts. That's that's not bad. I mean, coming into the league, especially coming out of COVID. Like, I wonder how much the G League, rather than college, actually helped him. However, despite being the second pick in the draft that year, he finished fourth in rookie of the year voting. And so, like, I mean, Scotty Barnes was crazy. Evan Mobley, I, I forgot that he was that high. I thought Cade was the second, but it was by a large margin. I mean, look at this. You kidding me? 48 points, 43 points, 9 points. Jalen didn't even get any first place points that year, which was crazy. I mean, he's definitely the youngest guy here. Herb Jones gets one. That's freaking hilarious. But I mean, definitely coming into the NBA, Jalen was not like, oh, wow, this dude's going to go crazy. I mean, Ant wasn't either. Tyler Hero, I mean, went to the finals the first year of the Heat, but he was not like that guy on that team, right? He definitely helped out a ton because of Jimmy and Bam. Um, But I feel like a lot of the recent guys have been either like, you get like the zion and the jaw and the wemby and like the paolo or you get kind of like the second string i guess and is in the conversation as well or you get like the second like oh Jalen green's a good a good franz wagner is a good a second piece you know kate cunningham good number one piece on the worst team in the league kind of deal you know like not a lot of like big 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 names like we thought that they were going to turn out from high school or from like the g league you know but i mean for a dude to come into the league as rookie year playing 67 games 32 minutes a game. That's that's pretty good. 14 shots, your rookie year. I mean, it, it's only gone up from there. I mean, I guess it went down a little bit this season. But yeah, he he wasn't bad by any means. So who is Jalen Green right now? Pretty much the same as what he was coming in the league. A scorer. He's insanely athletic. He's a great young piece on a playoff team. But he, is he that guy who's going to lead them to a finals appearance or, you know, multiple playoff series wins? No, uh, don't get me wrong. He himself independently is showing off all the things that he looked like he was going to be, at least now, right? But he's on a team right now that might not make it to the playoffs. I mean, they've been winning a ton, eight-game win streak, but the, the West is just loaded. I mean, let's just look at young guards in the NBA. In the West, okay? Luka, Ant, Shea, and Ja. Like, that's... And then you got guys like, you know, not even guards. Zion, Fox, and Sabonis with the Kings. D-Book. Wemby's rolling up. Chet's rolling up, right? His own teammate, Shangun, going crazy. And that's after guys like Jokic, KD, Steph, Braun, you know, AD, Kawhi, PG, like all these guys in the West. That's after all those guys are gone. That's with the new pool of the young guys. And Jalen Green is just not at the top of that barrel. My, my verdict overall is that I like Jalen Green. He's been playing. He's, he's been playing great. He's been shooting the ball well. I mean, 42 as a career high is impressive for anybody. At any point in your career. And I, I like the additions of Amen Thompson, Jabari Smith, you know, Cam Whitmore, Alprin Shangoon, and then guys like Van Vliet and Dylan Brooks and like Jeff Green, good old Unk. I mean, add all of those guys together and they're a dangerous team. Like, they're good with all of that. But he is really the spark that can come up and just, and just score for them. Not like their leading guy.